Hello and welcome to another installment of uh, Commodore 64 games loading from cassette. Today uh, we'll be loading up a game named Fight Night which was released by US Gold uh, back in the 1980s. Uh, probably like around 85 or 86. Um, this was actually a boxing game. Um, I've not played this game in a very long time. I didn't play it too much even when I had it back uh, back in the 80s. Because um, I had so many other games to play. But this one here... Um, It was a good box match. The graphics were, were fairly okay. I can't remember if there is any music at all in this game or how the loading screens were, but we were about to find out. If you haven't already done so, please take a moment to click on the Graph Gold lo logo down in the bottom right of the video. That is the quickest way for you to subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you want to know why you should do that, well, it's because uh, I'm in the process of compiling the definitive. Commodore 64 YouTube playlist, which is going to consist about of consist of about 100 hours of tape loading and gameplay footage. Um, 100 hours is uh, approximately 400 games, which is what I have in my collection. Um, so uh, we started that project uh, last month. Um, we already got about 40 videos up there, 40 out of the 400. So of course that's one tenth of of the project already complete and uh, I plan on adding about 10 um, games to that playlist every week so if you want to be notified of when new videos or new games are added to that playlist subscribe to the channel just click on that logo in the bottom right of the screen bottom right screen or bottom right of the video itself and uh, that way you'll be kept informed do appreciate everyone that does subscribe and of course if you have any special requests that you want added to that playlist go ahead and leave them in the comment section below all right so it looks like fight night has been founded has been found on the uh, on the cassette deck let's go ahead and proceed with loading that see how this game loads up so it's a silent overload While it's loading, I will uh, read the cassette box. So the cassette box includes a fold out instruction sheet. So it says, U.S. Gold in association with Sydney Development Corporation present Fight Night starring Bronx Bomber, British Bulldog, featuring Dipstick, Who Him, and Kid Castro. Now what I want to look for here on this sheet is a uh, like a copyright date, so I know when the game came out. I don't see anything here that indicates a copyright date. So as a reminder folks, these what you're watching here is not emulation. These are actual Commodore 64 cassettes loading through a C2N dataset onto my Commodore 64C, which is a which I got in early to to early 87 I believe I bought this when I was uh, living in London and uh, it's still working to this day so this in fact is a PAL version Commodore 64 which was uh, ideal because all of my games are UK versions of the game I did try loading these games up on a US version and the most uh, apparent thing to me was that the games played a little bit faster and the music sounded a little bit off. So in order for me to um, 
play these games here on the original 64 that they originally loaded from back in the 80s, I had to get myself a PAL to NTSC digital converter box. So my Commodore 64 connects to that digital converter box via a um, S-Video cable that I purchased not too long ago um, from 8-Bit Classics. 8-Bit 8bitclassics.com they had a um, an S video cable that, um, that connects from your Commodore 64 and I'm telling you um, that cable makes all the difference in the world I mean if I was doing some of these videos I think you might see um, where there's a bit of uh, blurriness with the uh, with the uh, characters um, that was because I was going through a, comp a composite signal um, but the S video makes a huge difference, and I believe uh, I paid about uh, about fourteen, fifteen dollars US dollars for this particular cable. Uh, but if you need one, by all means, I recommend that you do go to 8bitclassics.com. Um, as I said, I ordered my cable about a month ago, which uh, was in August of 2021, and it took about a week for it to arrive. Um, and I'm located in Florida, United States. But yeah, that was a very good investment. It has breathed new life into my Commodore 64. These games look fantastic. And uh, in part, it's why I felt like, you know, let me go ahead and revisit all of these games. So the game has loaded up. I know that's why you're here. You want to see how this game how this plays so i'm gonna go ahead and sh go straight to boxing i'm choosing option number one all right i don't remember doing any of that so reinserting the tape it's side two facing up and i'm going to press rewind I assume it means rewind to the beginning. Alright, so the tape is finished rewinding. I'm pressing play. And I pressed fire. So it looks like the first fight's against Dipstick. Now I told you that I got my Commodore 64, uh, my 64C in 1987. The C2N dataset that's also being used here did not come with that unit. In fact, that C2N came with my VIC-20 that I got for Christmas in 1984. Uh, and that came bundled with my VIC-20 that I got for Christmas that year. That's been running strong. It's been running like a champ. Now, granted, I didn't use it for about 20 years. Um, if you want to know the reason for that, well, uh, you should uh, visit my Patreon site, and that will give you a full lowdown of how things have transpired over the last 35 years or so, 36 years.
So while this is loading, I did want to just uh, let... Yeah, I just did want to let, let you guys know that I had posted a... Um, Uh, a video of oh actually I'm sorry I did post a YouTube uh, an Instagram post um, earlier today promising a video for um, aliens um, I did run into some technical difficulties with that if you would tune into my channel just to see that video understand that it is a work in progress the cassette had some issues where it, the tape actually cut um, I was able to resplice it back onto the uh, onto the um, onto the reel but unfortunately the tape was too far degraded it actually started to remove the the, uh, the film from the uh, from the actual tape so um, I will uh, be exploring getting another copy of that game and I will remake that video uh, in the upcoming days now, as far as this is concerned, I wonder if I'm using the wrong control, because I'm, I'm trying to punch here and nothing's happening. Let me try to, con yeah, the controller, see if that makes any difference. No, it doesn't. So, I am using the right controller. I've forgotten how to punch this game. So, okay. Yeah, mate, take some of that. So obviously, if you haven't figured it out, I'm the guy on the left. It looks like he's getting the better of me. But from what I remember, I used to kick this guy's ass when I used to play this years ago. Now, nah, mate. Uh, come on, get closer. Moving up. Oh, he's coming back. Coming back, he is. God, I'm only getting. Don't think I don't think I'm going to knock him out in a minute. I'm only three quarters away on that bar, and he's catching up. Oh, he's probably might have even taken a lead. Oh, he's gonna knock me out. Oh, look at that. Ah. All right, we'll do a rematch. So the tactics here is to try to get him uh, 
getting pinned to the ropes. So I'm going to keep advancing. There you go. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so Kid Castro. Alright, let's see what we can do with Kid Castro here. I don't think it's going to work out. I think this... Oh! Now, the uh, instruction sheet actually does come with a... like a biograph biography for each of the uh, opponents. And I think it gives you tips on, like, you know, whether they, they, where their strengths are, where their weaknesses are. Now, my initial thought was that this guy here could withstand a head punch, but based on my luck so far, he's been doing all right. Uh, actually, no. Uh, excuse me, he's, he's been... So these body punches are not really doing much damage here. He's up by about 40 points here, 30 points on me. Still up by about 30. Oh, he's, he's beating me up. He might knock me out. He's up by like 8 points on me. He's up by 101 points on me here. He's going to knock me out. There you go.
Well, there you have it. Um, that is Fight Night for the Commodore 64. I, I was trying to read through and see when that game actually came out. Uh, it doesn't seem obvious in the instructions I have here. Um, but it's an enjoyable game. Um, I can tell you that my fingers are killing me after playing that game. It uh, kind of reminds me a bit of Decathlon. But uh, it's an enjoyable game. Uh, it came out around, I think, 86 or so. And I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you on the next one. And as I said before, if you haven't already done so, click on that logo at the bottom there, bottom right of your video, off the video, so you can subscribe to this channel and you can uh, see everything that we've posted here, as well as watch that playlist that uh, that is a work in progress. So anyway, until next time, thanks for watching, and uh, feel free to leave a comment below. Uh, if you have any special requests um, of any games that you want me to make a video of, I'll be happy to do it. As I said, i got 400 games here. Um, and uh, it is my goal to play every single one of them here. And if whatever you want is not in my collection, I will do my best to try and acquire a copy of it and get it loaded up and make a video. So again, thanks, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.